trying to figure out where this kayak's leaking. I have slap filled it up with water <laughs> all the way to the top. And I've got a pretty good gash right here that's pouring water. And of course where they put it together right here, I don't know if you can see that water squirting out. There's a little piece there. There's a little bit under there. That's not a big deal. These are normal. I, I put some gasket sealer on those and they work for a long time. Look at that bubble right there from all the weight. But where it was leaking pretty bad was around this. And the back end of this thing will sit under water a lot. So when you're sitting on it and it's flexing, it sucks and sucks and sucks and fills up. So now I've turned the water off and I've got to get the water out. I ain't worried about the top ones. It's a pretty efficient way to figure out if it's leaking. All right, here we go. That's a little more than I thought it was gonna be. That's five bucks of water, probably. It's satisfying. Oh, I can't even untighten that because there's so much pressure on it. But I'll tell you what does work. This blue gasket sealer, like for putting uh, valve cover gaskets on, it works. It's worked for years in here. I just need to get it good and dry, kind of sand there again and just cake it in there again. So there you go. You know, I drink the water. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just staring at it. I know. It's tough enough to just stare. It's like a fire. You just want to stand there and watch it burn. I thought I was going to have to take it down with my tractor. But I learned real quick to look for holes in waders. You know, like put a, body, a pair of body waders on. You don't want to hang them up by the straps and fill them up because all the straps break. <laughs> Remember that? Remember that action? All right, let's go do something else. We're doing some uh, daytime herping. This is where we stopped last time. And uh, there was a snake on that tree right there. So we're going to check around and see what we can find down here. And it jumped off in the water right off the bat. Got to get my glasses off. Do not see one on there. Huh, a lot of people out here today. So we tried to find kind of an isolated spot. We get closer to campgrounds and between the Subarus and the dogs, it's hard to find anything alive in the woods because everything runs in highs. That's kind of funny, wasn't it? it wasn't meant to be offensive. I tell you what I did not know is that Subarus are made in Japan. We didn't know that, did we? Mm -mm. We uh, actually, this is a new tree, isn't it? No, that's the same one. There was but don't here. Forget, there was a snake right there. Oh yeah, it was right here. Mm -hmm. and it was like, There's oh. not much we can do right here. Yeah, this this one's here last week. Oh, it just about fell. Okay, we're gonna take our time. We may do a little rock flipping, too. There was also last time we came a snake in this tree now, i know that's not a guarantee but i'll show you a guarantee later i just walk up and find a snake but it's kind of kind of cheating it's not in a cage my face is covered up with bugs and mosquitoes nothing we decided to go downstream this time got to find the rocks to flip. I'll get spider webs too. Okay, we're going to flip a few rocks right here and see what's under them. If I can stand taking off my glasses a few minutes because of the bugs that fly right in your eyes. Let's start with this one.
I can't see. I'll tell you what I want to do is metal to take this. Can you better with them off. Can you see better with them off? Mm -hmm. These little branches hanging over look like a nice spot for a rough green or a brown belly boot nanny. Second one's rare. This is a great little creek. Really clean, but so far, no reptiles, no herbivores. Oh, there's somebody parked over there in the woods. Chilling out. Not a snake. You can hold them. I don't think they'll bite you. They're millipedes. I'm gonna pass on that. You can hold it if you want All right, to. I might in a second. Now, if we were in a city creek, there would definitely be a very large water snake on here. I want a frog. Big frog. It has a big frog in it. Huge. Let's see if we can make it over there. So far, absolutely nothing. And even though I should probably turn around, this water is so nice and clear and so clean out here. I just don't want to go back. So you put your glasses on your forehead and knock your skis out of your eyes and you keep moving. Really? Who? There's a crawfish claw and some legs. So a raccoon has definitely been in here. Mm. They'll snatch them up. Usually there'll be shells all of us. Here's another claw right here. <laughs> That's cool. so quiet out here. It's a pretty big claw. All right, let's go check this corner, then we'll head back. That's a nice rock to lift. Let's just see what's under it. I know a Oh, nice crawfish hole or salamander hole. Yeah. I know a lot of people say that when you flip rocks, it changes the ecosystem and shifts the earth and makes the moon go different directions. We'll see tomorrow what happens. I'll tell you a good spot for a uh, rattlesnake would be in these cool caves up here. Somebody's, oh no, I thought somebody threw rocks in there, but they're falling off the top. They just chip away. Like a chip wall. Maybe an outlaw. Like a yellow jacket. Dragonfly. Where's the dragonfly? Oh yeah, let's check it out. Let's see if I can get y'all close to it. No, I can't. But you can smell a skunk out of here. We're so close to a skunk that has done his duty. There's a dragonfly, big and yellow. It's gone. Oh, no. Now it's gone. Well, I'll try to get you close. I wonder where that skunk is. I've never seen a real skunk. I'm pretty sure they're all skunks. You know, I've never seen one. I've seen them dead on the road, but I've never seen them. Like, wandering through the woods. I'm pretty sure there are skunks out here. We're going to take the shallow, almost dried up option back right here. All right, here we go. First herbivore. There's our herbivore right there. Little miniature fribbity ribbit mm. with a, uh, what's on his back? Oh, that's his legs. I thought he had a little slug on him or something. He's really tame. Cool. Okay, let's mm. go. Yep. This is where... Alabama mosquitoes live. 
They're hatched right here. We are heading out of here to find the guaranteed snake. I'll show you in a few minutes. So here's a snake that got ran over. And it appears... Oh, that's a beast of a rattlesnake. That's a bummer. It wasn't here when we came through. Oh, look at that rattle. Get out of here, yellow jacket. Don't watch, it. watch your neck. You know, much as I hate to say it. Come on. We may get the uh, rattles. Take the rattles off? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Maybe like, That's a big old rattlesnake. I mean, we might to look at the rattles a better. I think that's how you tell their age is the rattle. How kind many? of a bummer. How they got ran over. We'll get it up here a little better so we can look at it. Oh, it's bleeding everywhere. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's that's a beast. On. So here's you a close up. Rattlesnake, yeah, it died instantly. Oh, That's man. a shame. Timber rattlesnake. It's real scaly. You ever felt one? See the scales? Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, I've never, well, I don't know. I've never felt those rattles. How many rattles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine years old? Oh, okay. I don't know if that means it's nine years old. Oh, that's so cool. That's a shame it got run over. I mean, I wouldn't mess with this snake out in the woods anywhere, but uh, that's about as close as I've ever been to one. In case you're curious. I'm curious. So, what does the belly of a rattlesnake look like? And believe it or not, it has no smell. Unlike a Midland water snake or something like that. Yeah, I can't even smell it. It has absolutely no smell. Oh, it looks so vicious. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, and they look... Are those glands? The venom glands right there? Well, I'll tell you the truth. I don't know anything about them other than I don't mess with them. Yeah, I'm pretty good. They are very scaly, like... They feel... Yeah, you can, uh, I mean, they're literally scales. Yeah, there's some snakes that don't even really feel like scales, but this is like actual scales. That is so cool. It's weird, you don't even have to move them much. Okay, on? just want y'all to see this. Yeah, that wasn't here when we drove by a few minutes ago, well before we got in the water. Yeah, that's like, oh, look, actual scales. Yeah, they are, aren't they? So, yeah. so we'll get a couple pictures and move on. We'll go show you one that's alive. Not a rattlesnake, though. Okay, this is guaranteed uh, snake zone here. Oh, wait, that's a bull. I'll show you. Come over here. Okay, you gotta be very quiet. I'm serious, you gotta be very quiet. Well, he's not in here, so that means it's out hunting. Gosh, I just lived in here for years, and it was here a little while ago. We greased, cleaned up this whole thing. Now, let's look around. It's gotta be here somewhere. I 
my my dad seen it the other day poking his little head out somewhere. Just remember these things I was explaining to EA Jr. They can fall on you. Okay, look under here. See if there's anything under there. Ready? Set. Let's go. Nothing. No, I didn't get to see. Oh, put your head down further. My arms are only six feet long. Okay. We've already got it overloaded. That will fall on you and squish all your guts out of your I mouth. Right here. Huh? Yeah, we're not gonna mess with those pallets. And put your glasses on. So far, we're not finding any reptiles. So at the end of the day, I blew it. I guaranteed you a reptile for sure in the last spot, and it didn't happen. So sorry but let me show you what i did i cleaned out in here this is to finish the video and i cleaned out in there and i redid it i redid around there i put some in there and in there just because there's slight leaks in there and i redid around this and now it doesn't leak now true if i filled it up again it would pop every seal on it because you know they say a gallon of water weighs pounds. Now I'm done. Ironically, I found this knife with a magnet. Thanks for watching my videos.